Hello, I'm Mr. Tan. Today, we are learning how to use fraction to describe equal parts of a whole and naming the parts of a whole and making a whole. So example one, this equal part of a whole, a whole circle that kind of two equal parts. So we say that one part is shaded of the two. Same, it can be a whole rectangle, two equal parts. So this is one part shaded of the two. So one part is shaded and one part is unshaded. So one out of two and the other unshaded one out of two, we got one whole. So one whole is also same as two out of two. So one whole rectangle, if we cut into two equal parts, so we call it one out of two, half. If you cut into three equal parts, there is one out of three, one third. Cut into four, one out of four, one quarter. So this is known as one out of five, known as one fifth, one out of six, one six, one out of seven, one seven, one out of eight, one eight, and one out of nine, one nine, and one out of ten, one ten. Question one, write three quarter as a fraction. So it's three quarter means three out of four. Question two, what fraction is shaded? So there are one, two, two equal part out of five. So this is two fifth, two out of five is shaded. Question three, which figure shows half? So here is one out of three. So this is not a fraction because the parts are not equal. Here is one out of two. So answer is C. Question four, fill in the blank. So one out of two and one out of two make one whole. That's why one whole is also known as two out of two. Mastery level two. Express fraction in terms of unit fraction and compare ordering fraction. Example one, Lina eats one out of two of a sandwich. So one out of two is half. Michael eat one out of four of a sandwich. So one out of four. So we eat more. So half is greater than one quarter, as you've seen, bigger. So Lina eat more. Besides using circle, we can use rectangle too. So half is one out of two. One out of four is one out of four, one quarter. So liner is greater. Example two. There are three paper stripes of the same size. Emma shade one out of two of the first paper stripe. Benny shake one out of three of the second paper strike, and Charles shake one out of four. Who shake the most? So from the diagram, you can see that Amos shake the most. Question one. Gregory eat three out of eight of a sandwich. Joel eat three out of five of a similar sandwich. Who eats more? So you can use a diagram. So first you draw the two equal sandwich. So this is Gregory. This is Joel. So Gregory cut into eight parts. Then Joel cut into five parts. So Joel eat. Three out of eight. Gregory, uh, Joel eat three out of five. So you can see clearly that okay, Joel is greater than Gregory. So I'm saying Joel is more.
Question two. Arrange the fraction from smallest to greatest. So smaller will be 3 out of 10, followed by 6 out of 10, followed by 7 out of 10. Question 5. Adding and subtracting fraction. Example 1. Derek ate 1 out of 4 of a waffle. Brona ate 2 out of 4 of it. So what fraction of the waffle did they eat all together? So 1 plus 2 is 3 out of 4. So they ate 3 out of 4 of the waffle all together. Example 2. Malcolm ate 1 out of 6 of a cake. What fraction of the cake is left? So here is the model. So here has been uh, eaten by Malcolm, so left with 5 out of 6. So the working is 1 whole minus 1 out of 6. So 1 whole can be 6 out of 6, as you see. Minus 1 out of 6 equals 5 out of 6. So 5 out of 6 of the cake is left. So question 1, filling the blank. 1 whole minus 2 out of 5 equal. So you can do the working. 5 out of 5 minus 2 out of 5 equals 3 out of 5. Part B. 2 out of 4 plus 2 out of 4 equal to 4 out of 4. So it's equal to 1 whole. Question 2. In June, painted 5 out of 8 of pole in the morning. He painted 2 out of 8 of the same pole in the afternoon. What fraction of the pole did you paint all together? So you take 5 out of 8 plus 2 out of 8 equals 7 out of 8. So you painted 7 out of 8 of the pole all together. Question 3. Sally cut a cheese cake into soft piece. So she ate one piece, she gave her mother two piece. What fraction of the cheese cake was left? So 12 out of 12 minus 1 out of 12 because she ate minus 2 out of 12 because she gave, she left with 9 out of 12. So 9 out of 12 of the six kids was left. With that, we come to the end of the lesson. Continue to practice on our e-learning website. That is www.studysingaporemath.com. With that, Mr. Tan, see you on the next lesson. Goodbye.